Hi, in this video, we are going to be looking at how we can split our images into different segments for artistic wall frame. This is Twisted Creative. Valerie like Man is my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button, not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. This model we are going to be using, for now we don't have anything to do with it now. All you have to do is just use our control N to bring out the new document. Based on what I'm seeing now about the image, it's going to fit into 30 by 40. We are going to be using 40 for the width, then 30 for the height. The resolution should be 300 for better print out. Then hit create. The background is okay by white. Hit create. Then we have it like this, this plain stuff. Then the next thing we have to do, we have to go to the image and drag the image into this, our new document. So we are going to spread it to fit the document here. Then just hit OK. We are going to be sharing 30 by 40. We are going to be splitting it. So what we are going to be doing, we just hit, have to, we have to hit our control N for new document. We are going to be sharing this 40 into 4, which is going to be 10 inch for each of those partition 10 the first partition is going to be 30 by 10 which is from up to down we are going to do it 30 by 10 so we have 10 here 30 here the resolution should always remain at 300 then hit create then we have this the only thing we have to do here is to go to the foreground color and click on the foreground then change it to whichever color that we want to use just for a kind of reference purpose for us to know what we are dealing with let's just use this green and hit ok then you have to go to the paint bucket and if you don't see paint bucket there you can see right click and see gradients and whatever then you see paint bucket you go to this document and click on the document pick your move tool and drag it to the next document which is this the next thing we'll do here is to change our opacity to 50 percent then 50 percent so as we can see through to see our image then by this time we can go ahead and create another one we're going to use our control n to create another one and this time around it's going to be 10 but we are going to be changing this we are going to be removing five from each of them five inches from each of them then this one we are going to be removing five which is going to be 25 then we'll leave it at 10 the width at 10 then the resolution must be at 300 then click create you do the same thing just go to your paint bucket the color has been there then just click on it then pick your move to and drag it to the document and you can drop it here just go to the opacity and change it to 50 percent opacity then hit ok then the next one we are going to be creating is going to be the same with this for this other side for the left side for in order for us not to go and start creating again, we can use our Ctrl J to duplicate this. Ctrl J to duplicate, then we can take it to this other side. Then we are going for the last one now. We have to use our Ctrl N to create a new document, which we are going to be removing 5 from the height, which is going to give us 20. The resolution must be at 300, then the width must be at 10, then hit OK. Then we have this just go to your paint bucket the color is always there and you have it here pick your move tool and drag it to the document and drop it here change the opacity to 50 percent opacity then hit okay you can select the first one then hold your shift and click on the last one you have all of them selected then you can push it to this end then thereby creating space for this guy to fit in to this place so I'm doing it like this. All of them are going to be straight at the bottom. Then you can also click this, click this, this, and this, then go to here and align them by the bottom. Then you have it like this. I think it's almost done. The next thing we'll do is for us to place our guide so as we can save it for template for other images. So we we'll have to bring, drag all these guides Let's take this one to this ending, then take this to fit here. You can also zoom in to see, to place it accurately. 
then go back then you can make use of this also just drag it to fit here then take this other one to to align here Then you have to bring extra one, drag it from this edge, from the ruler, drag it, you have a line there. Then you drop it at the end. Then you can also do the same with the horizontal lines. Then you can take this one to the ending, then carry this to this point. You can also zoom in to check if you are right. If you are in the right place, then just check it. You will notice that. We'll notice that we still have some space here to, to error here to be corrected i think we should go bring this down to this spot then you can zoom in to check also if you are right you can zoom in very well then zoom out then the last one you have to take it to the edge and it's going to fit perfectly then let's see these other lines i think they are well placed now so with this now you can save this as a template you can use it for other image you just have to drag the image and spread it on top you have it like this you can click the first one then hold your shift to select the last one then use your ctrl g to place them in a group now we now have this in a group which is going to just you can just put it on to see your line and your guide we have to go to our rectangular marquee tool and start selecting you have to place it at the edge and drag it's going to follow that line then you drop here make sure the image is selected you right click and layer via copy then you have a copy of the splitted image. Select the image again, then go to the next one and do the same. Just drag from the edge to down. Then you right click again and layer via copy. Then you select the image again, then do the same thing here. Layer via copy. Then select the image again, the last one, then drag from this edge and drop it here then right click and layer via copy then you notice that we have some splitted images here then if we disable this you have other ones there also let's say let's disable this you notice there's one there then let's okay let's remove let's disable all of them and you can see we have just empty space there then if we enable this now, we have the first place. We'll enable the next one. You notice that the full image, the face, and the next one, and this other one. <laughs> that's been splitted. So let's see what we'll do. The next thing we'll do is for us to leave this place now. Go to use our control N to bring out the new document again. And this time around, we are going to be making the width. We used 40 for the width before. Then now we are going to be using 42. We are going to be using 42 for the width. We are going to add extra two inches to create a little space in between. Then the next one is supposed to be 30. We use 30 for the height. Then now we're going to be using 32 for the height. The resolution remains the same. Then click create the white background. We can change the color of the background by clicking on the foreground color and change it to something like gray color should be okay. Then hit Okay, then go to your paint bucket. If you don't see the paint bucket, you can right click and the middle is a paint bucket. You can click on the background. Then we're now having gray color here as the background. Then you can go to the documents where you created those stuff and you select the first splitted image and the last splitted image here by leaving the original image there. Then drag it to the new document. Then drop it here. We have to take it to the left side to start creating space in between there. So you have to select the first one, then push your forward key 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you take the next one. You add the next one with holding your shift. Add the next one, then push it 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you add the third one holding your shift. Then you continue 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
then you add the last one holding your shift also then you move one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you can see that the image is well positioned then we can now remove these guidelines so this is what we have now so if you don't want to make any mistake you can just save it like this and print it exactly like this. then you can use your scissors or whatever to cut it before you do your framing if you want to save them separately you can easily drag this to the third one depending on the size just try to find out which is going to fit into each other like this one it fits to this you can save it to print it separately then you can take this longer one then take it to the first one and drop it here and you are good to go just fit it to the space you are good to go then the last one you can take this to this particular one then as you can see you are good to go just save it and you are good to go then this one the same thing with this you can also bring it here and remove the initial one then as you can see it's good to go then you save and it's done I believe that is it for today. If you find it interesting, helpful and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us how it has helped and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people will keep on creating. Please stay creative. Continue creating. See you in the next video. Bye for now.